All right. Good day, everyone, and welcome to part two of the Using Stream Within Cybers tutorial. I'm your host, Ruben Fuentes, and for this part, we'll go about how to create the stream app within Cybers. So here on the slides, I got all the sets of instructions so that you guys can access them without needing to check the recording every single time. So we're going to start off by going to Cybers, and if you don't have an account, just create one. And once you get access to the discovery environment and to VICE as well, V-I-C-E, you're gonna need access to the Jupyter Stream app. I know this sounds like a lot of access, but really all, most of this comes from creating your account. And we're gonna make the Jupyter Stream app public in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. Once you open the discovery environment, you're gonna go to the left bar and select the apps tab, and you're gonna search for Jupyter Stream. I'll, I'll show all of this off in a sec. We're gonna leave all our input folders blank. We're gonna select our output folders and we're gonna select launch analysis. Once we've run our, our, our analysis and it starts, well, running, we're gonna import our data through Cybers because we gotta remember that one of the main advantages of this is that we can have all of our data and all of our analysis in the same place. So I'm gonna show off how to do this real quick. These are the inputs you'll need. And this is a sample screenshot of the thing run. Looks amazing, right? All right, then let's get started. So we're gonna start off by going to Cybers and logging in. Log in, just gonna input my credentials. All right. Oops, I made a quick mistake. That should do it. Or maybe not. Oh, actually, I know what. There we go. This should do it now. I apologize for the delay. So if this is your first time in Cybers, you're going to want to request access to discovery environment as well as DE Vice. It's gonna access our discovery environment. Many times you'll need to log in again. So just click on log in. You get a welcome message, message to the discovery environment 2.0. So now we're gonna go to the left side here, our bar. We're gonna select the apps tab. And I wait for that to load. And while that loads, we're going to type Jupyter dash stream. What this application is, is that stream has seamless integration with Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Lab. So our coworker, Softone, created an app which combines these two. And you can access it directly through Cybers. No need to install anything on your computer. You're going to click Enter. Select it, make sure it's by soft one. So on the first screen here, you can just rename your analysis. We're gonna call this cybers dash tutorial dash version two. Any comments if you wanna, uh, well, come in your analysis with something. This is a sample test done on June, 2021. Now, we, what you're going to do is output folder. So if your analysis creates output, you're going to want to select where do you want the outputs to go. In this case, I'm just going to select Cyrus Tutorial Recording V2. Select current folder. And going to go to next. Now, what Cyrus allows you to do here is to select input files or input folders from your Cyrus directories. This is definitely a correct way to do it. There's no problem doing it. However, we're not going to do it because we're instead going to use command line transfers, which are a lot quicker. You want to learn more about I commands, which is what we're going to do to do this. Just search I commands, Cybers. You can get a whole host of tutorial. We're going to use this guide. And here are all the instructions. You need a specific number of CPU cores, a minimum memory, a minimum disk space. You can specify them here. We're just going to go ahead and click Next. 
And then on the lower right hand side, we're going to click on launch analysis. You can see our analysis are here. These are all the analysis I've done before. So once you get this, you're going to get a notification. You can select on this one, which says access your running analysis here. If the notification gets lost, just go to the analysis tab on the left hand side and Select this option here, which says go to analysis. I'm just going to click on that. Wait for it to load. And just like that, you got stream running on your virtual computer or cloud computing. No need to install anything on your PC. Now, when we first start this up, this is kind of a small bug we have. It's going to recommend us to build something. Just select and build. It's going to say it failed, but don't worry about it. Everything's working fine either way. So starting off, we're going to want to go to the terminal because this is already our cyber set. And you can see that we can create a Jupyter notebook. And we can actually write Python code here. So I'm just going to write uh, x equals 7 to show it off. And for those of you that don't know how Jupyter notebooks work, they allow you to segment pieces of code into cells which means you can run separate cells at different times, which allows you to test different parts of your code without having to rerun the whole thing again. It's really useful in data science. And I'm just gonna write print x. So if I run this second line of code without having run the first, I'm gonna get a, an error message. X is not defined. So you need to run whatever you want to be for and then you know, run all subsequent cells. You can also click on run and select from the various options here. I can run all cells and it runs all cells from top to bottom. But enough about Jupyter. What we're gonna do now is think we're gonna go to new, select terminal, which was also on the home screen before. And this is our command line. So what we're gonna do first is, as I said before, we're gonna use command line transfer to bring our data from our cybers directories. So you can read the instructions here. I've got them memorized. So you're gonna to want to type I in it for I initialize and click enter. It'll ask you for a host name. So select or rather type data.cybers.org. Whoops, tiny mistake there. Port number for cybers is 1247. My IROTS username or your IROTS username is going to be your cybers user. So just type that in. Your IROTS zone, if you're using cybers, you're going to want to type iPlant. And to confirm this, you're going to type your cybers password. Now, once you start typing, you'll notice that nothing comes up of screen. That's OK. Your answers are still being typed. They're just not shown for privacy reasons. And you're gonna click enter and you're gonna get a message that says fail to update. So one might think, oh no, this isn't working, but it actually is working. So if you wanna test whether it works, just type ILS and your Cyrus directory should pop up. You can see I got iPlant home and my Cyrus username, which means that my directory is working. So now I've successfully connected my Cyrus account to the application. Now, let's suppose I have some pieces of data I want to run a stream on. We'll run stream on part three of this tutorial, but I'm going to show you right now how to get those pieces of data. You're going to want to type, use another I command, which is I rsync. It comes from rsync. If you're going to copy entire folders, you're going to write, want to write dash r. You're just typing, getting a, a single file. You don't need this. You're going to write I colon, and then the cybers directory where you're um, Data is located. So I'm just going to copy paste that real quick. There we go. And if you click enter here, you're going to get an error message. That's because you need to add a, a period at the end. So this is an example of what happens if you don't add it. You get a bunch of stuff, mumbo jumbo, as I like to call it. So just add a period at the end, and you'll see that this folder popped out on the left side. However, once it pops up, it doesn't mean that it's already there. You gotta wait till the command line finishes. 
or allows you to get more inputs to be sure that everything has been imported correctly. So in this case, my folder has a lot of data in it, so it's gonna take a while, but I'll show you once this is done, uh, the username pops up again, Jovian, and after that, you'll be done. So before we finish this, I'm just gonna show you, well, that copies over how to uh, actually import stream. So since this is Python, you're gonna want to import the stream library. Just type import stream. And let's suppose you're gonna use stream read. You're gonna type import. Well, actually, I made a quick mistake. From stream, we wanna get stream read. And all of the methods available in stream read, which you can locate by searching this on Google, just type stream documentation. And you get this website and this has a lot of useful data. It has tutorials, it has the change log. It has all the APIs. Let's suppose, okay, I wanna find out what StreamRead does. Just get here and you can see all of the parameters, you can see all of the attributes and all of the methods it possesses. For example, differentiate, or let's suppose you're gonna to want to get a message ID, just use this method. If you want to get the speed, just find the speed function, this one. And you can see here that a lot of these methods, there's a lot of functionality to the stream. On part three, we're going to see how you can best take advantage of stream, but that's reserved for a future part. As well as stream read, we also talked about stream map, which you can see here. And yeah. Let's suppose you want to use stream map. You also use the same thing from stream, import stream map. We'll talk a lot more about stream and well, stream read and stream map on the next section. But for now, you can see now that the Jovian username popped up again. This means that my transfer was complete. And look at that, all of my data is here now. Simple as that, I didn't have to upload anything. As long as it's hosted on Cybers, it's already there. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this. Stay tuned for part three. And before I go, I'm going to show you some very useful links that we'll access when checking out stream in part three. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.